Welcome to Division Analysis, so I'm Fog. I've been away for a little bit, but I have been watching some content, and that content has inspired me to make this video on my return. What I want you to do is I want you to rank these four damage talents if we were using this build. And what I want to tell you is that your ability to predict the correct answer is directly proportionate to how much content on the internet you have been watching or how much reddit you have been reading and by directly correlated I mean inversely you are much more likely to get the correct order of these talents if you know absolutely nothing about this game because the greatest damage thief in this game is what people consider to be common knowledge. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to clarify common errors that I see with damage calculations, and I'm also going to address some massive misconceptions that people have about these talents and why it has cost you damage for the last five and a half years without you even realizing it. Let's start with the basic premise. So we have our base damage of 100%. I'll get to the weapon in a second, but our weapon damage on this build is made up of 25% expertise, 15% from our specialization, 15% from the weapon, 10% from our watch, and 90% from all of our red cores. Total weapon damage is 25% coming from Obliterate, and we have 100% amplified damage coming from Striker's Battle Gear. On this build, the best setup is 59% crit chance and 144% crit hit damage. And we're going to use the FAMAS as our control weapon. RPM base of 900 and a base damage of 40,191. Right, traditional calculations for burst DPS. What we have is 4191 times our weapon damage, which is 155%, which means times 2.55, times 1.25 for our total weapon damage, times 2 for our amplified damage, and then we have the average of crit chance and crit damage, and our rounds per second of 15 meaning that the traditional calculation for burst DPS on this build 7.1 million DPS is our control and our standard. You can also do the same calculation but you can use total magazine damage over the time to fire the magazine. You will have seen this as well. This now times 50 to bullets over the time to fire the FAMAS's magazine of 3.33 seconds giving us exactly the same answer of 7.1 million DPS. That's our control. Now let's have a look at the damage talents. Now quite simply flatline is an amplified damage talent so this is how majority of people will calculate it. 4191, 2.55 for weapon damage, 1.25 for obliterate, times 2 for strikers and then times 1.15 for the second amplified damage talent damage talent being flatline and now a lot of people will forget to remove 5% crit chance the weapon which is required for 100% uptime on our linked laser pointer what will then also occur is that people will forget to readjust the build and instead of 54% crit chance and 144 crit damage a better configuration is 60% crit chance and 132% crit hit damage times our 15 rounds per second gives us 7.9 million which not 15 percent but gives us an 11.4 percent increase using traditional methodology for optimist i think most people have come to the realization that diminished returns is a thing or relative returns or whatever you want to call it but optimist 4191 times 2.7 which is the average achieved by Optimist over a full magazine. 0 to 30, 15% average. I'm sure you've seen people do this before. 1.252 times our crit chance, crit damage times 15 gives us 7.5 million. 
This is a 5.88% increase on our control. Now, here's how people traditionally do measured. For the first half of the magazine, 4191 times 2.55 minus our 30% weapon damage gives us 2.25. 25% for our total weapon damage, 2 crit chance, and now our rounds per second jumps to 18 rounds per second. Which gives us an average of 7.5 million for the first half of the magazine. Second half is 4191 times now 2.55 back to our original weapon damage and now our total weapon damage is 1.55 which is obliterate plus our second half damage from measured. Same calculations except now our rounds per second are 12.5 which gives us 7.3 million for the second half and people will traditionally just average this to be 7.4 million DPS for the magazine. And what you will see is the majority of Reddit comments or content creators will tell you that Measured is the worst talent because it only produces 4.6%. Now in the past people would have said something around 2.5% because they weren't including expertise etc etc. But there still is the common knowledge that Measured is the worst talent, Flatline is the best on a heroic damage build. Now some of you will have picked up some of the errors in these calculations already, but I'm going to tell you that every single one of these calculations is incorrect, and there are major assumptions that are made that are horribly, horribly incorrect when it comes to calculating which one of these talents produces the most damage. The first error that people make is what I call the first bullet principle, or failing to account for it. Now some content creators have tried to argue with this principle, but this is a well-established fact. Failure to acknowledge this principle is just accepting that you are going to be wrong forever. And to be honest, it's just getting embarrassing now. It is widely accepted in multiple communities. Not just gaming communities, I mean in the world. In computer programming, this is known as the off by one error. It is because computers will start counting at zero, whereas humans start counting at one. Common computer programming error. A builder's labourer will even understand this principle because they know it as the fence post error. And you can Google it. Fence post error. It appears everywhere. If you're building a fence, that is five fence sections long, you require six fence posts not five. It is exactly the same when it comes to bullets. A bullet will fire instantaneously and it will then cycle. The last damage that you do does not require another bullet cycle. All of the damage that is possible for you to expend has already been expended. So, for the FAMAS, people will divide 900 RPM over 60 seconds and assume that there are 15 bullets in a second. But here is 15 bullets. And what you will see is that it only requires 14 bullet cycles in order to expel 15 rounds. A bullet cycle on a FAMAS at 900 RPM is 0.0666 seconds per bullet cycle. 14 times 0 0.0666 seconds is 0 0.9333 seconds. By including the last bullet cycle, the error is 7.14% when we're talking about one second. Over an entire magazine, and the reason why people have just let this slide for so long, is that the error is only 2.04%. But that is the minimum error that a burst DPS calculation will produce. And it leads people to think things like the firing range is incorrect. It doesn't match my DPS calculation. No, the DPS calculation is incorrect. And depending on how quickly you are killing a target, it is between 2.04% and if it is two bullets then your error rate is up to 50% as far as time is concerned. That is a huge error. 
Now, when it comes to assault rifles across the full magazine, there is also something called the last bullet principle, which I'm not going to go into here, but it reduces that error down when people are doing their burst TPS calculations to the point where it has been, it's gone unnoticed, this error, for the longest period of time. People have only been close to correct because they've missed two principles that somewhat cancel each other out. But two wrongs don't make a right, especially when measured is concerned. So our control is not over 3.333 seconds, it is over 3.266. Flatline, exactly the same thing. Optimist, exactly the same thing. And we still get exactly the same increase on damage for both of these talents. However, for measured, this off by one error works in its favor. The first 25 bullets that measured fires, obviously at a reduced time scale, but that's irrelevant for this conversation because you continue firing into the second half of the magazine. So the burst DPS calculation for the first half of the magazine is in fact correct because there is the requirement for another bullet cycle after the end of it. But when it comes to the second half of the magazine, there are now only 24 cycles required in order to expel those 25 bullets. What that means is that measured gains one bullet cycle. And in the case of measured, that bullet cycle in the second half of the magazine is longer, meaning that it gains more from this principle. Now at this point I want to apologize because in a previous Damage Talents video I made the claim that the measured magazine fires in exactly the same time as a normal magazine. And in a recent video, content creator and friend Dispatch called this out as being an error. And for the most part he is correct. But since making that original video I've actually worked out since then that the timing of measured in compared to a control is in fact dependent on what build you are wearing at the time. And to be honest, up until this point, I could not be bothered going through all the maths to explain exactly what's going on. Whether the two magazines finish at the same time is inconsequential. What is of concern is how much damage is produced and how much time does it take each magazine to fire their magazine. But here it is in all its glory, the truth that nobody actually asked for. Two errors that are made regularly. So the first one actually goes back to the calculations that I showed you before. The rounds per second for the second half of the magazine 12.5. This is only true if you divide 900 rounds per minute by the 20% that's suffered on the second half of the magazine. In reality, this is in fact a true minus 20% rounds per minute, not divided by 120. And this result should in fact be only 12 rounds per second for the second half of the magazine. But if you incorporate the fence post error or the off by one error, first bullet principle, whatever you want to call it, what happens in a mysteriously quirky coincidence, the results, when the calculation is done correctly, turn out to be exactly the same as if you'd done the calculation incorrectly. And this minus 20% RPM hurts quite a lot for measured. And when you do the calculations, you end up with a table like this. And this, I imagine, is exactly what people have assumed in regards to measure. And I have seen content creators claim this, that measured produces less than 2.5% damage and is therefore the worst damage talent that there is. But there are a multitude of things that are going on behind the scenes that I've never explained before because I really didn't want to have to, but it leads you to incorrect assumptions when you don't factor these things in. Right, so the first error that appears all the time is assuming that the average of these two DPSs 
is halfway in between them. This is incorrect. It is damage over time and measured as delivering 7.5 million for 1.388 seconds and then 7.3 million for 2 seconds meaning that the average DPS across the magazine is in fact lower than what was previously calculated and a new table produces results where measured is only producing 2.3% more than the control DPS but that is where measured woes end and it only gets better from here. Now the first significant boost that measured receives is the fact that we're wearing strikers battle gear. The negative 20 or the minus 20% RPM on the second half of the magazine hurts measured considerably. And when there is any correction to this, it is measured who is going to benefit the most from this. When we adjust for the plus 15% rate of fire, Flatline and Optimus are essentially unchanged from their previous results. But when we do the calculations for measured, what we see is now a significant change when it comes to the second half of the magazine. And we're now at the point where the second half of the magazine, despite diminished returns from Obliterate, is in fact producing more damage per second than the first half of the magazine and this flies in the face of the traditional common knowledge when it comes to measured and what we see is that measured is now launched past the 2.5 percent threshold and is now delivering 3.3 percent over the control and close the gap with its competition so the next error that i see people will produce all the time and I, it's one of my favorites because it is so intuitive that nobody picks up on the fact that it is completely incorrect so when it comes to stacking talents and on this build we have two measured actually has a significant advantage and intuitively you think there is no advantage because when you look at the talent description you think plus 20 percent on the front half of the magazine minus 20% on the back half of the magazine. That is a net gain of zero when it comes to stacking talents. And if you look at it from the number of stacks gained from a magazine, that is true, but that is not true when it comes to the damage produced during the magazine. If I plot the amount of time that it takes to deliver bullets for, by both the control and also a measured build, what you can see here is that measured will deliver 25 bullets in the same time that it takes a standard build to deliver 21 bullets for the front half of the magazine. It then gives that four bullet advantage or four stack advantage back over the rest of the magazine. People believe this to be a net zero gain but they're forgetting about this entire period here where measured has been delivering a higher rate of damage per second because it possessed those stacks at the time. And what that means is that for the first half of the magazine, the measured build has been gaining up to 4% more damage during that time. And then it gives that 4% damage bonus back over the next half of the magazine. But 0 to 4 is an average of 2, 4 to 0 is also an average of 2 which means that for the duration of the magazine measured has possessed an extra 2% damage for that entire period of time. And this remains the case until the build is at full stacks. But there is another stacking talent on this build. Now obliterate we've already adjusted for the diminished returns from total weapon damage so any gains made from the stacking is just pure gains for the measured build and it's a very similar story when it comes to obliterate we're obviously accumulating less stacks per second because it's based on crit chance and we actually reach the maximum number of stacks before the end of one magazine but we still have this entire period here where the measured build is gaining more damage per second because of a faster rate of stacking. So between 0 and 43 bullets, which is where both builds roughly reach the maximum 25 crits, 
for the maximum obliterate damage, what we see is a 0 to 2.36 stacks advantage. So the average is 1.18 stacks over that 43 bullets. So from 0 to 43 bullets is 25 stacks for any of our other damage talents, which means that they will average 12.5 stacks, which is the average of 0 to 25, for 86% of the magazine, giving them a 10.75 stack average for that first 86%. Then they're at 25 for the remainder of the 14% of the magazine, giving them an average across the magazine of 14.25 stacks. For measured, the first 25 bullets is 42% of the magazine and it only accrues 14.75 stacks during this time. The next 26 up to the maximum stacks or when maximum stacks is achieved is an average of 19.875 for 44% of the magazine and then it's exactly the same for the remaining 14% of the magazine where it's at maximum stacks. This gives the measured build an average of 15.34 obliterate stacks across that stacking magazine. The reason why I've broken out the first section of the second half of the magazine is because at this point, during the stacking phase, obliterate has not reached its maximum stacks. And what that means is that the 30% total weapon damage from measured is not yet receiving the full diminished returns that we had already calculated. So as soon as total weapon damage kicks in from the measured magazine, it is only receiving an 87% diminishing based on the number of stacks that have been accrued so far. And it works its way down to the full 80% diminishing when literate reaches its full complement of stacks. So what that means is that the 30% total weapon damage of measured at the start of that period is producing 26.1% damage and it only reduces down to the already calculated 24% damage at the completion of those 43 bullets, which means that during that 44% time of the magazine, it is accruing an additional 1.05% damage that was not already factored in, and that means an additional 0.462% stacking damage over the course of that first magazine. When we do the calculations, what you can see is from our cold start, the first magazine of measured is, is now producing more damage than what Optimist is. It's not until the second magazine, when Obliterate is at full stacks, that Optimist starts to take the lead. But if we take our three magazine average until we've reached full stacks of Strikers, what we see is results like this, and a three magazine average now creates results where Measured has once again closed the gap. And you guessed it, there are yet still more errors that people make when calculating these damages. The next one is undershoot, or more specifically, not understanding how we use weapons and then adjusting for it in our calculations. It's the difference between shooting in the firing range and what you actually achieve in real game play. If I go back to this calculation from before, what you can see in the case of measured is that there is very little difference between the damage produced in the first half of the magazine and the damage produced in the second half of the magazine. This is definitely not the case for all of the talents that we are talking about. And this fact is definitely ignored when it comes to Optimist. What you can see here is the damage that's accrued by Optimist as the magazine is expended there is a significant difference between the first and the second half of the magazine. As a matter of fact, for the first half of the magazine, the average damage is down here. The second half of the magazine, the average damage produced during that half is up here. And it is in fact possible for me to rewrite the optimist description with a totally accurate new description that reads, 
Weapon damage is increased by an average 7.8% for the first half of the magazine. Weapon damage is increased by an average 22.8% for the second half of the magazine. You do not access the higher rate of damage unless you're expending the full magazine. And in real gameplay, that only occurs about 50% of the time. So if I am generous and I say that on average we use 75% of our magazine, Optimist will now only deliver an average of 11.4% weapon damage. That is a 24% reduction in its overall effectiveness. Now whilst Undershoot drastically harms the effectiveness of Optimist, the opposite effect is true for Measured. Remember this? When we stop short of the end of the magazine, Measured is no longer giving back all of its stack gains. Not only is it achieving more damage per second during the period of firing, but prior to the end of the magazine, it is ahead on stacks. So during the full magazine, the striker sacks were ramping up to four and then all reseeding all the way back down to zero. That meant that measured had a 27% average stack versus a 25% for the standard. Now when we cut the magazine short of firing its full complement, it ramps up to four stacks in the lead, but then only has enough time left to reduce down to one striker stack advantage and does not achieve parity. What that means is that the average DPS increase over that period is 21.21% instead of our 27, but this is compared to the standard 19%, which gives it a 2.21% damage advantage during this period. And on top of that, it now carries one extra striker stack into the next magazine. Along with strikers, this also occurs with obliterate. Up until the point where you reach max stacks, measured will achieve 1.1% more damage during that time, and then it will carry an additional 0.6 average more stacks into the next magazine until you reach those full stacks. Now this is compounded damage, magazine to magazine until everything is at full stacks, and this is further compounded because now, firing less than the full magazine, it now takes you more magazines in order to reach those full stacks. I'm not going to bore you with all of the calculations, but what happens is that we now have a four magazine average, whereby we're using 75% of the mag on average, and now there is no change for flatline because it's a straight amplified damage talent, but Optimus takes a dive, and Measured gets a boost. Measured is delivering more damage on this build despite diminished returns from rate of fire and despite diminished returns from total weapon damage talents on both the weapon and also the chest piece. Here's a simple demonstration. I didn't have a FAMAS at level 25, and nor am I expertise level 25, so I have a carbine at level 24, but that doesn't matter for the purposes of the demonstration. I'm simply going to replicate 75% mag usage by doing a full magazine, then half a magazine, a full magazine, half a magazine, followed by a full magazine. The only thing that's going to change in between is the tower. Now at this point right about now you can see that measured reaches a peak of 6.2 million DPS. Now I'm just going to change the talent. That's it. Nothing's going to change about the build, the setup. I'll just get rid of the striker stacks to start fresh. Everything's exactly the same. Now 
Last full mag. We get a peak of almost 5.9 million. Let's move on to the last trap that I see people fall into and that's the specialization selection. And this is especially prudent when we're talking about the difference between measured and flatline. Now I did do a comparison of these two specializations for their use in legendary content in this video here. When it comes to heroic, the 12% damage to robotics means virtually nothing when it comes to the damage per second produced by technician. And the benefits of the skill tier are virtually offset by the benefits of 10% armor on kill. So all of the damage aspects of Gunner are going to significantly add to the DPS production of the measured build. Just the 5% rate of fire on kill reduces the total firing time for the measured build down to 2.79 seconds. This is an increase on burst DPS of 4.4%. We then have the additional 10% weapon handling and the 50% reload speed offered by the gunner on every third reload. Now with diminished returns, I'm going to round these down. 14.5% average across all three reloads for that one 50% increase. And then the 10% weapon handling will also decrease the reload speed by a further 7.5% with diminished returns. So we have our total DPS times our firing time to give us our total magazine damage over the time to fire and the time to reload working out our sustained damage. Now despite the technician build with flatline having a higher burst DPS, the overall result is that measured with gunner will produce 1.36% more damage than flatline on the technician build. Now because people still won't believe me that measured is going to deliver more damage than what flatline is, I've set up a demonstration for you. Now the first cab off the rank is flatline with the technician build, link laser pointer, first magazine, 6.4 I think I saw there, and now we're just going to keep firing, I'm just going to keep firing to eliminate RNG as much as possible, and continue until there's I've done about 10 magazines or so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run upstairs, change to gunner, and then change the build and also the weapon adjustments to the measured build. That's the only change that's going to occur. We are running out of bullets and we are pushing 6.6 .6 million. So now gunner. I'm going to get rid of the link, well I don't need to get rid of it, but I'm changing the build. We're now going to replace our crit chance mod and 59144. And we're just going to change over flatline for measured. And do exactly the same test. First magazine, over 7 million. That's the power of the stacking advantage of measured. Six point six is what uh, flatline reached. Pushing that now, we're over that now. Six point seven. Six point seven. Six point seven. So the final standings in last place was Optimist. Second last place, Flatline. In second place was Ranger. Oh yeah, that's right, you forgot we were still covering that one as well, didn't you? Straight up, 6% amplified damage. Averaging 15 meters engagement, 6% amplified damage. And then coming in at number one was measured with an average delivery of 6.6% .6 additional damage. Now Measured will lose some of this advantage if you're spending a large amount of your time at full stacks of everything. But if you're spending more than four mags for a single wave at heroic level, you have more problems than selection of talents. 
Now I put a lot of effort into the maths behind this video, but at the end of the day, these percentages mean sweet fuck all. And in reality, I don't use any of these talents other than, at best, a secondary weapon slot. These are the only talents that I use in the game at all. What's most important is understanding which talents will synergize best with your build. Measured works extremely well on an all red build with stacking mechanics. And so I shouldn't need to tell you that when it comes to a legendary build that looks like this, with no diminishing from total weapon damage talents, and a much higher threshold for the number of stacks required before you reach full stacks, Measured absolutely shits on all the competition. Optimist works much better on your tank builds and on your PvP builds because diminished returns is no longer affecting it as heavily as it does on an all red build. When it comes to flatline, the technician's laser is a trap. The use of the technician specialization for DPS purposes really only works when it comes to legendary content where you are fighting Black Tusk 100% of the time and the robots are in a high percentage and with a very high health pool that you can actually extract some damage from that. It is incredibly important that if you are going to use Flatline in combination with Technician that you're also taking advantage of the extra skill tier otherwise the trap has worked. And when it comes to Ranger Another overlooked perspective all the time when it comes to this talent. If I have two weapons and I'm using another one all the time within 15 meters, that means that Ranger is only being used for engagements between 15 and 35 meters. And when used in this way, it's likely that there is no other damage talent that could compete with Ranger in those circumstances with an average of 10% amplified damage to that weapon. Forget common knowledge, work out which talent synergizes best with your build because at the end of the day all of the talents are very well balanced and it will come down to your ability to recognize what talent works best for this build at this time with how I play. If you appreciate all the hard work that went into this video, hit the like button. If you want to see me debunk more common knowledge, then hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Fog out.